Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. Today we're going to look at the question, after Jesse Smollett, will real victims of the anti-LGBT, sorry, too many letters, hate crimes be heard? And this is from the Daily Beast. Also, I'm trying out a new format of holding the camera a little more steady. I need to actually get something to hold it, but... I hope you appreciate it and it works better. Okay, so after Jesse Smollett, will real victims of anti all those letter people hate crimes be heard? It depends on who you expect to hear them. But maybe a bigger question is why we've decided to make any innocent victim be granted additional sentiment based on anything other than being attacked or violated. The more we slice apart into identity politics, the more convoluted, by definition, criminal pursuits and prosecutions become. Who does the Daily Beast have in mind? For this hearing, anyways, it's not revealed in the story. Does anyone think the police won't listen to a person reporting an attack crime because a B or C list actor decided to prank them and hoax any in America who would take the, heat, uh, take the bait? Professional detectives and officers don't get distracted by such lunacy because if they do cease being, that makes them stop being professional. So they're gonna ignore that kind of craziness. Now, maybe the Daily Beast, better, okay, maybe the Daily Beast is referring to the media hearing these victims. If that's who they mean, then what kind of person thinks that an attack victim, a real attack victim, wants the media to pick up their story and turn them into some celebrity for their 15 minutes of fame? Consider how many attacked people became celebrities in the past five years. And you will also notice they will have one thing in common. In order to become a victim celebrity, they were lefties that the media sympathized with. Mattress Girl, Virginia Tech Rape Story, Jesse Smollett, the new one, or any of the other hundreds that are listed on fakehatecrimes.org. Now, when we get into the story, let's take a look where it says for one night right here for one night if that it seemed like public attention would turn to the persistent problem of anti-letter people violence in this country celebrities advocates politicians including multiple presidential candidates condemn the attack see here's the thing those people that condemn the attack that's all good. It's the people that condemned the attackers in the broad spectrum of saying, oh, it's MAGA people. Oh, it's Trump people. Oh, it's Trump's America. That's the people that are in trouble and having to do the humble walk back. If you simply say, oh, it's wrong to be beat up. And, you know, regardless of why, seriously, if you're the one beat up, it, it doesn't matter. You were beat up. You want justice. You want the perpetrator caught and to find out, you know, what can be done. It, it doesn't matter. Trust me, when it's your turn, and may it never be your turn, that you find yourself violated or attacked. Do you really want the cops investigating you and going, well, let's see, are you a homosexual? Are you a bisexual? Are you a quadrisexual? Or whatever the Q stands for. The point being, it doesn't matter. What matters is you were attacked and that person needs to be brought to justice. And that, is not being paid attention to anymore in America. And by doing that, we keep watering it down and making these things possible. We, we can make a victim celebrity for Pete's sakes, as long as they're on the left. Okay. Now, what I find funny in this article, and I'm sure that the author didn't mean to make it funny, but she says, nor has it changed that the fact that most reported hate crimes are racially motiv motivated. Well, that's kind of a crucial element to be a hate crime. It doesn't have to be race, but it's it's a huge factor. So that's kind of like saying, and nor has it changed the fact that the sky is blue in the daytime. Yeah, well, thanks for pointing that out. Well, anyways, I don't want to spend forever on this because I could because there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here that is just kind of goofy, but I want you to just think about it. Will they be heard? Of course they'll be heard. They'll be heard by the police. They'll be heard by the court system. It really doesn't matter if the media hears about them. 
And you know how I know this? Because people on the right are attacked and robbed and beat up all the time. Christians, straight white men, straight white women, they don't make the news ever other than maybe a blurb. Okay, for you folks that live in small towns, maybe it's a different situation for you. But those of us that live in the big cities, yeah, it's not happening. So will they be heard? Yes, they'll be heard by the cops. They'll be heard by the justice system. That's who's supposed to hear them. And as long as they keep their professionalism, we're good. Other than that, this lady's just throwing a hussy fuss so that, you know, oh my gosh, are we still going to be able to promote these things and create our victim celebrities? I hope not. I hope not. If you're attacked, you shouldn't be exploited. And this is exploitation. Unless, of course, you're Jesse Smollett or all the other people on fakehatecrimes.org who are simply promoting their agenda in a world that is actually so absent of these kind of things. They have to actually literally make it up. Think about that. If you feel different, you think different, put the comments at the bottom. Thanks for checking in with the Tea Party Hardy channel. We're glad to have you here. Um, thanks for your support. If you want to do a thumbs up, that's cool. If you want to subscribe, we'd love to have you. And so, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon.